Hi guys, welcome to Puneet's Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Do not forget to like and subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any update. Today's video is about Sun and Venus conjunction. When the ego and the love combines, what is the effect? Let us find it out. But before going into the discussion, please do not forget to like this video and also put in your comments whatever you like. If you have some suggestions, do let me know. I will take it up as and when it is possible for me to take it up. And also, do not forget to subscribe and also you can share this video among your friends and family so that everyone gets to know the power of astrology. Coming to the video of Sun and Venus conjunction. What is Sun? We have to understand the inherent property of these two planets before going into the power of conjunction of these two planets. Sun is the symbol of ego. Sun is the symbol of self-esteem. Sun is the symbol of pride. Sun is the king. Sun has royalty. Sun is also a fire element. It is burning with fire. It is something who burns and give light to other. But also if someone comes too close to it, it has the capability to burn that person also. It has that kingly attitude and it has that attitude of pride and self-ego that it can empower any other planet very easily. And that is why when any planet comes too close to sun, it is said to be combust. Now, what do you mean by combust? I will explain this in another video. Stay tuned to watch this channel. That's why I'm saying, please hit the bell icon so that when I will upload the video on combustion, you will get a notification by YouTube. Now, when what is Venus? Venus is love, Venus is romance. Venus represents feminine energy. It represents the female in your life, be it mother, sister, wife and, or friend. Anyone who is feminine holds the power of female in your horoscope. Venus also defines love, luxury, prosperity. It is the luxurious item. It is the happiness that you achieve. And it, is, it also means the power you, of money which you have, how much money you can spend, what kind of life you are going to have, the life status is defined by the property of Venus. Venus also defines health in your body. Venus also defines the virility. Venus also defines the fertility and the power to reproduce. Remember, Sun is also fifth house lord and fifth house in the natural carpoolish, I mean. Sun is the fifth house lord, ruler of sign Leo, which also means house of productivity. What? House of offspring. So when Sun and Venus come together, this means that your child is going to be some bigger and higher soul because the power of sun and venus is combining this is going to mean that the atma or the sun comes in contact with the virility or the sexual force which is venus it can have catastrophic effects it can have very benefic effects depending upon what kind of conjunction sun and venus is forming in your horoscope for example if Venus is too close to Sun, Venus is a very soft planet. Venus is a very calm and mild planet with a very feminine energy, a very gentle touch of energy. Sun on the other, on the other hand is like a, a hurricane of fire. It is burning constantly. It is burning to give you the power, give you the energy. It is, it is the reason why the entire solar system is lit up. It is the reason why you face day and night. But the moment you start going too close to Sun, you feel the heat. It can burn you up. Venus is very soft and tender, comes too close to sun, it gets burned. Obviously, this does not mean that it will lose the energy, but it is burned. That means Venus starts feeling uncomfortable. So if in your horoscope, you have to see if the sun is dominant and Venus is the, is the one who is taking the beating, then this means the female folk in your life will suffer because of your presence, because of your ego because of your self-esteem. It is commonly seen that these, these people adhere with their principles so much that people around them suffer because of their own principle. Because your principle is so rigid, you are not, not flexible enough to change for somebody else. You are a, a kind of a person who will feel that I am the one who is correct and you have to follow me because that is the rule of king. Your command is the, your wish is the command and that has to be completed by everybody and when does that that does not happen then it causes problems in your life it can cause break in marriage when venus 
falls back and behind the sun that means venus is of lower degree than that of sun that means sun has already crossed this also means that your ego will be taken up by the love because now your ego has the backing of love but this love is going to burn itself in the ego this means you will become so egoistic and proud you have you will feel so much proud about your romantic life your love life and towards your partner that your you will have a tendency to over dominate that person and if that happens the person can feel the resistance the heat and can can you can say that they are sacrificing their wishes for you sometimes it is good sometimes it is bad now venus also denotes creativity venus also means glamour glitz when sun is behind venus and venus is not too close that means venus is quite far say venus is at 25 degree and sun is at 5 degree there is a 20 degree difference so sun is behind venus that means venus will get the limelight of sun such person will become famous because of their creativity because of their luxury things because of the, something related to venus that is diamond they can be a very well known name in perfume industry they can be a very well known name in textile industry someone who is very creative someone who has a great sense of interior designing someone who has a great sense of vastu shastra but we have to understand whether this sun and venus conjunction is afflicted by rahu mangal saturn or it is it is in a very positive state now if the conjunction happens within 10 degrees venus goes combust that means venus will lose its power and this is a negative thing because if venus which is the which is the karak of happiness in your life goes in front of sun and loses the power then it is entirely in the hand of sun how your life will be so you have to carefully judge what is the position of sun what is the strength of sun whether it is positive it is negative because it is the sun that will decide the effect of venus in your life that will be the driving power there now with this careful balance of power between sun and venus if the power is disturbed because they are trying to burn each other that will have a cascading effect on your life you will become uncomfortable the whenever you will start having luxury there can be some problems with authority there can be some problem with your health because venus and sun goes too much close can cause issues in health especially the sexual health so if you have that conjunction and you don't feel that your health is up to the mark then it is the time when you have to really take care of your body because sun is the atma you will feel drained in energy you will you may feel that you are not that happy enough you will always find that lack of lack of something that you cannot assert and if you feel all these things this is the time to correct this sun and venus conjunction because if the conjunction is positive you already have enough luxury in your life you will always have enough power to deal with things in your life that you will be totally happy and you will face less problems in your life because if this is this becomes positive this has a great great impact putting your life at a very high status and also giving you all the luxury and happiness but mostly it does not happen now if the conjunction happens in the exaltation sign of venus this becomes a positive thing because if that it happens in the exaltation and sign of venus venus becomes very much happy and provided the degree is degree is more than 15 degrees remember the main thing about sun and venus conjunction is you have to carefully observe the degree should be more than 15 the degree of difference so that ideally it cannot be called as a conjunction just giving let me giving an example we are on planet earth and it is at a certain distance at an optimum distance from sun so we are getting that sunlight if you land in mercury if you come to venus as a planet in astronomy you see that the temperature surface temperature is very high so so to have the optimum operation of sun and venus conjunction it has to be at an optimum degree difference if the degree difference is not optimum what will happen is it will create a negative impact sun and venus conjunction also means in the kal purush second house fifth house and seventh house lord is combined that means house of your family and speech house of your food house of your fifth house that is productivity creativity higher order thinking perception offspring children productivity of entire life gains from marriage love romance and then the seventh house the business the marriage communication with other people how do you deal with other people all these thing combines so if this has a negative impact all these spheres gets a negative impact the entire all these sphere takes a hit and therefore the, if this is too bad this forms a daridra yoga no matter how much wealth you will have 
it still means that your personality will not be up to the mark. Sun defines personality, Venus defines luxury. So if you have a person who is a very, uh, like a film star or someone who is having a very high personality and he also wears luxurious clothes, remember Sun and Venus has, has, is having a blessing on them. Now if this sits together and does not have that blessing, this means either you will be deprived from luxurious things, you will be deprived from day-to-day -day things or even if you have that thing, you will not have that personality to carry it away, carry it off. So if you have this conjunction at a close uh, level, you have to rectify this conjunction. How you can rectify totally depends upon the horoscope and the exact placement of Sun and Venus, Mahadasha, Antardasha calculation, uh, degree, Navamsha, a lot of things has to be seen. But in general, what you have to do is, you have to pacify Sun. For this, you can do Surya Namaskar and do some Mantra Jap of Surya. This is the basic remedy. But yes, this conjunction is not always bad. This conjunction is good if Venus is positive because ultimately Sun will gain its power, but it's Venus that needs to be improved here. A suggestion for you is that you should not inflict too much of pride in the way you love, in the way you are, in the way you look, because you are a person who is very much, uh, uh, who is very much typical about how you look, how you, uh, what you have. This also can make you materialistic and your outlook towards life will also become materialistic. Try to have the positive attitude towards life. Try to not get into a materialistic zone because that a uh, dead end for you. Sun and Venus conjunction has great potential to make you famous worldwide. Try to utilize this potential to the maximum. And guys, th this was my analysis on Sun and Venus conjunction. This is a brief analysis. This is my Sun series. I will come with a Sun and Moon video in the next episode. Stay tuned. Do like and subscribe my channel. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe. And I hope you will comment your suggestions on this video and your views on the upcoming yoga or transits that you want me to make a video on is very much welcome. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching Puneet Astrology. Thank you. This is your one stop astro channel.